بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We express our sincere appreciation to Mrs. Armida Ali Shahbana, Under Secretary General of the United Nations and Executive Secretary of the Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific, for her kind invitation to participate in this meeting. We also express our best wishes for the success of the meeting. Excellencies, the state of Qatar is keen to adhere to the principles of shared responsibility and multilateral action and continues to put forward initiatives and inputs that make a difference and contribute to alleviating the burdens of crises and common challenges. In line with this approach, the state of Qatar has not hesitated to assume its role as an active partner in the international community and to continue providing support to the least developed countries landlocked developing countries and small islands developing states. It goes without saying that the severe impacts of the coronavirus pandemic continue to place numerous burdens on those countries in particular and on their development prospects. Such a situation requires strengthening multilateral cooperation to respond to the multifaceted effects of the pandemic. Excellencies, in line with my country's keenness to support the issues of the LDCs and under the guidance of the Emir of the State of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the State of Qatar, is proud to host the fifth United Nations Conference on the least developed countries, the second part of which will be convened in Doha from the 5th to the 9th of March 2023. We are all pleased with the positive momentum that has characterized the unanimous adoption of the Doha program of action for the least developed countries during the first part of the conference, held on the 17th of March 2022, which confirms its relevance and provides a solid foundation to meet the special needs of the LDCs, recover from the pandemic and build resilience, especially within the framework of its ambitious and robust commitments and significant tools and measures to bring about the desired change. We take the opportunity of the participation today to confirm that success in implementing the Doha program of action requires collective cooperation and the translation of all such promises and commitments into practical and tangible action. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are certain that the LDC5 to be hosted in Doha will be the culmination of a long process that has gained momentum and witnessed a significant engagement by all partners and stakeholders. In Doha, we will take advantage of this distinct and unique opportunity presented by LDC5, stress the political will and concerted efforts and pledge global commitments and partnerships. This will contribute to investing in significant opportunities for the least developed countries and meet their aspirations to achieve the desired progress towards their socio-economic and human development in a sustainable and inclusive manner. In conclusion, we look forward to the honor of welcoming you next year in Doha. We hope that LDC5 will be a landmark event to bring about the desired change in the lives of millions of people living in these countries. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.